Hey tubers, hey blessers. Today I'm going to do something a little different, not a wake and bake, an extricate and medicate. I hope I remember that for the title, extricate and medicate. I should write it down, but I look high. I'm not high. Um, I'm in pain. And what I'm trying to do today is to change the vernacular to more correctly show what I do. Excuse me. Um, most of you who are following me know why I have this mood right now, but uh, but no, let, let's stay off the personal shit and let's just talk about Medicaid and extricate and Medicaid or wake and bake. Um, I wake up in pain, as I always do because of fibromyalgia, but I also, depending on external influences, could wake up down today down um, and today really high anxiety um, not a good day sometimes if it's just waking up with pain my morning medication is just simple some THC rub where it hurts in the back the neck some THC underarm deodorant, my body starts to detoxify, and I'm good until later in the day. That's quite often my morning medication, um, but it depends. Uh, morning medicating can take many different routes. If, Especially if I have a child here, that's my morning medication. Um, but depending how much pain and anxiety and other issues I have and today depression kinda coming along um, to extricate and medicate and be able to get through today I need a little more doesn't mean that it's going to interfere with my ability to do anything beyond what I'm doing right now um, and I'll get further into that so to medicate right now because I am really high anxiety uh, tomorrow I may have an interview about the issues that are going on in my life um, and who knows maybe more um, I have to start raising money so that I can fight these issues so I have all this anxiety coming around me I'm trying to see my son um, as often as possible even though it's not visitation time so that's anxiety. Uh, I miss him. I, and I know that my older son is crying his eyes out because he can't see his brother. Sorry. Can't see his brother. And my younger son is crying because he can't see all his family. So my whole family is hurting. And some of my family is saying, live with it. Because, you know, I raised hippies. They, they don't like confrontation. And uh, some of them are the same fight for it because you have to and outside influences are saying do what you have to do so I've got to follow my heart and I'm going to fight but uh, in the meantime I have to survive and I just can't imagine my visitation I mean the the judge's order is no medication while visitation goes on and I can't imagine a day without medication and I'm gonna have to have Friday night till Sunday night without medication 48 hours um, a pain and and difficulties up here and thought and everything while looking after him it shows that judge has absolutely no concern over the child he's and no idea what he's doing and saying about pot. So what I've got is near the end of my Girl Scout cookies and I'm just going to have a little bit of that. 
and uh, cheers everybody. What do you do for for anxiety? Do you have anxiety? What do you do? You medicate? Uh, do you just is it? Um, <laughs> do you medicate? Peace. I need this right now. And yeah, it's okay to say you need medicine. I'm old. I'm 54 years old. I've had a very hard life with uh, an accident that should have killed me, that broke my neck. Um, a life of raising children without a mom. Um, and trying to struggle through with what was a lack of education and then bringing it up to severe education late in life. Uh, oh, I've had a I've had a tough life and so late in life my body's falling apart and I'm trying to keep it together with the most with the least side effects possible. And this is it. This is it. This gives me the best ability to look after my family. Well, let me <coughs> 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 Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> now you see this <laughs> this is why I look for more legalization <laughs> so we can get away from smoking. Get more into <laughs> get more into edibles and pills, <laughs> so I don't have to do that. <laughs> I quit smoking cigarettes seven years ago. Seven and a half. <laughs> I don't like smoking in my body, but. Uh, over a little bit of time, as my chest clears, I'll get some more of that. <coughs> my mood's going to improve. My energy is going to get better. Girl Scout Cookies has a very high CBD ratio. Um, thereby, cutting the inflammation in... in my upper back, my ribs, and my lower back, giving me more mobility today. So again, this will, this, this and a few others, like I've got uh, Skywalker OG coming. I purposely order by my, by my pain that I'm feeling at the time. Um, Skywalker OG is coming, and that's very mood derivative. Very good for keeping the mood well, and it's very high CBD also because of the OG side, and uh, will help me really good with inflammation. But already, I'm feeling from just that toe, the body, even though the cough, that just got the blood boiling. So, cheers. Second one always goes down a little smoother. Um, but that's what I'm doing is I'm medicating. I am not doing this to get high. And one thing that a lot of people, a lot of the people that don't understand pot is... is that there's a high associated with pot, but there's a high associated with Tylenol-3. There's a high associated with Percocet. There's a high associated with morphine. There's a high associated with any drug 
that takes away pain. And I don't think that the high is the drug. I think that the high is the removal of pain. Um, a doctor, and I wish I could remember his name, but the doctor wrote about that, is that the high is very, very often quite similar when removing pain. If you're taking any of those drugs and you have no pain, yes, you get high anyway. But your, your high is different if you have pain. The removal of pain makes you happy. I'm taking this to get rid of pain. I took it years ago to make me happy because I was sad. Uh, that, again, is just a pain thing. Sadness is mm, pain up here. So what is so wrong with any of that? And the final point I want to make, and this is something that is very strong to all of you, any of you, any of you, what you do in front of your child is really, really important. I know that. I know that. Even years ago when I smoked, I tried not to smoke around my children. I smoked cigarettes. But because of that, I did smoke around my ch children. All three of my children grew up to smoke cigarettes. I smoked pot ever since I was a kid. But I kept pot away from my children. Only one of my three kids smoked pot. They made their own choices. So for a judge to have taken my child away because now I have legal pot, then long, long time ago, it wasn't legal. And I still kept it away. They didn't know. And only one of them grew up to smoke it. Um, and I raised them myself, all by myself. And all of them are educated. All of them have a a post-secondary certificate degree or diploma and two of them own houses and are married and have kids such a sad thing that pot should determine who's a good parent or not when experience parenting skills Knowledge, love, background, desire. None of those came in. In fact, when I was in court, my ex-wife wasn't there. Didn't even show up to court and tried to make me not show up by lying to me and saying court wasn't even going to happen to try and shove this down my throat. So this was all done through deceit. I lost my son through deceit and lying about pot. But you know what? You saw my mood at the beginning of this. Already, here I am. The headache that was creeping in is creeping away. I am gaining my strength back. My smile is coming. And I walk around with a smile all day. I, I truly believe that if you don't put a smile on, it can't be there. And you put the smile on and it stays there. So, but this helps. This helps. And, and once you push yourself in that direction, the serotonins and everything in your body just keep you going that way. And so, you know, it's early morning. It's 1030. Um, I've had a little bit of medication. I am not high. Um, if my son had been here, I still would have done that. I would have done it downstairs in my medication room and there's a window open there nothing gets anywhere in that room except for outside or stays in the room then I'd come back up and look after my boy 
and we go out and do something. Um, See, uh, lack of knowledge and judgment by stigma uh, and ignorance of the subject is rather maddening. So what was going to be a real quick uh, <laughs> extricate and educate, I, I'm going to have to play the beginning so that I make sure I get the right title, ended up being a longer one. But I wanted it to be a little longer. I wanted you guys to see, go back to the beginning, see see what I was like at the beginning. Uh, I was a little bit down, I think, if I remember rightly, um, and I and I had an agenda. I had an agenda. I wanted you to see that I am medicating, not getting high. Now, certainly, I could sit here and smoke two more bowls, and I'm going to be high then I'm going to be high. But being high by myself, that's not a fun thing. It's not really fun just dancing around the house or whatever. Being high alone is like being drunk alone. I don't do that. Uh, I don't drink. Haven't drank in 11 years. Uh, actually, this summer is 12. Uh, we we passed it. We passed it. We passed my twelfth year. Cool. Uh, see, I don't even remember that anymore. That's that's the kind of dad I am. I don't even drink. But uh, so <laughs> where was it? So uh, you know, I totally lost where I was. So that's how good this medication is. I am ready for the day. Speaking of the ex-wife. Resident Evil. Ah. Okay, that means I have to go because somebody's getting a hold of me. Ah. Peace all, and I hope that you can all learn how to medicate. I'll get high, I'll get high, but when I get high, I'm going to sit in a sesh with a bunch of other people, like our Sunday uh, Weedy Weekend sessions. Or when I can get some friends over. And then my son won't be around. I'm a responsible parent. Not like my ex-wife who sits around and gets drunk with her friends with my boy there. Peace.